in this video we are going to design this poster and this is looking very awesome and if you are a beginner you don't know photoshop that much don't worry i will be going step by step so that will be very helpful for you and you can download my all the images link in the description below that's all free for you and there is one more thing guys if you are going to design this poster and you will be sharing on social media so please tag me there also if you are going to share so then i can see how you guys are doing for instagram my username is sarib ayaz the same name so what we are waiting for let's open photoshop so as you can see here we are in photoshop and we are going to design this so for that we need a size so size that can be anything else but for example we are going to take a a4 size for poster so if you click on art and illustrations you will see a poster here so just click on that and all will be same as mine and then click on create so here we have a size click on that unlock icon and go to fx and click on create and overlay now here you can give this color or you can change by your own idea so i'm going to use this and we will change it later a little bit hue and brightness so for now it's good and the setting will be same as mine here as you can see so the bright color will be on the top and little bit dark here hit ok and then we need a product image so these are the images we are going to use then we can just directly put here now come to this point click hold shift and alt and just drag your mouse like that perfect now small it and rotate it like this press ctrl on your keyboard then come to this point and just do like this and same here all right so here we get this thing and on the top we need to add source first of all we need to make a selection so select a rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this and color anything i'm going to choose white color but this will not affect press ctrl t and resize it so yeah you need to do like this and then click on this ellipse come to this properties and here you will see this icon click on that and now increase the feather like this this much is fine now watch this carefully after that right click on the ellipse and click on rasterize layer now press ctrl hold ctrl on your keyboard then click on this thumbnail so you will get this selection like this now come to your image your product image and then press alt on your keyboard then click on that mask now you will see a white color mask and little bit black like this and now we can delete our ellipse so just press delete button and you will see there this part is removed now here we can add our source image so right click copy image and paste it here press ctrl t now drag this image below the, your product image so then you can see what exactly going to be so we need only source image so press eraser tool and right click hardness should be zero and just remove from like this all right so we have removed the background then we can put it here press ctrl t and we can resize it also and then just put that here like this then create a mask on the source image press b and remove from here like this yeah come to this mask and brush here by pressing so just change the color here by pressing x so if you brush it will brush if you brush by white color it will be back like this so just swap these colors and you will get the result
okay so here we get the source perfectly and let's write our text here press t and write and the font will be montag i don't know it's free or not because i download it from adobe side so just try if you get this free otherwise you can use another phones in your style so uh, this is looking good to me and just put that here press ctrl t to resize the image and below that we can write so these two text we need to enlarge the text so just select these layers press t and here you can give 200 or 250 yeah 250 is fine and then select rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this this will be white and this will be below the text this new text will be in the background color like this uh, this rectangle click on that you will see these properties click on that icon so you will see and then click on and then just round that like this and that one also and this one also yeah like this press ctrl t and resize yeah okay so here we have written our text and now let's add the images first of all select these text and put them below your product image like this so our image will be these ones so just uh, select this this lasso tool and make a selection like this for this one then press ctrl j so you will get a selection like this come back to your these images select that layer and make a selection then press ctrl j again select your layer and make a selection for this and press ctrl j again come back to your layer and make a selection for this press ctrl j and then delete this layer so now we have separated these all so one will be here like this and second will be here and these ones will be all right so we have a composition here just we need to adjust them and color grading then it's time to add the shadow for this scan so just see where it is then select the layer below that and create a new layer then press b to select brush tool and press d to default the color here black and white so just see your hardness should be zero and then just click press ctrl t and move that here and large them like this and then here press ctrl and click on that icon this one like this and stretch now we can decrease the opacity to 50 percent so we can see this is hanging in the air like that and here we need to add some um, green so we can put it here and then here just select that layer go to lasso tool and make a selection for one by one just like we did for tomato press ctrl j come to back now we have these five green so we can just put them where it is looking good and that will be going to blow the product image just like this now this is not looking good enough because we need to work a little bit more now here we need to add the tomatoes tomato slice so here are two slices but we need separate separate so for that press ctrl g and just take that little bit down just select this lasso tool and make a rough selection for that one and first of all just right click on your image and click on rasterize then just press delete button 
now here we need to remove so press eraser tool and hardness should be 80 percent and just remove that or we can uh, select pen tool and just click on that path and make a curve like this click on this selection hit ok and then press delete button press ctrl d so we have a slice now perfect now the same we need to do for this image so here we have now the second slice we need to just resize them and put that there and here now that one will be going below the product image like this all right guys so here we have all the things just we need to adjust them so first of all what we are going to do we are going to apply a blur so select your layer go to filter and here you will find gaussian blur click on that now 20 percent is enough for me you can use either much or less it okay now this effect we need to apply on the all the layers which is hanging in the air so just select one by one go to filter gaussian blur all right so here we have applied the effect and now we need to work on lightning first of all we need to choose the this image click on this icon and choose brightness and contrast now here you need to make sure this is the icon just click on that this is uh, like this icon the arrow below so you need to make sure this is applied here and then decrease the brightness and contrast a little bit like this like this yeah all right now click on that mask white color mask press b to select brush tool and make your brush something like this so you will see this panel by right click here if you need to see right click by brush tool make sure you have selected brush tool and then right click on your mouse so you will see this panel and here just apply that one click one click one click and here also one click one click like this and here we need to give some uh, background color yellow some highlight of yellow so how can we give just create a new layer uh, above the image then press ctrl on your keyboard and then click on this product image now select brush tool by pressing b and then press alt so you will see the eyedropper tool on your mouse and click on that so you will see yellow color here perfect now you can default your brush and just one brush here like this yeah don't give too much otherwise it will be look fake now it's looking very nice like the background color is coming to product image that means this is looking real and we can give something little bit this side so like this press ctrl t so here we have and same thing for this one just create a brightness and contrast click on that icon increase the brightness and click on that mask press b and just click on that now here we need to give a little bit more effect so just click on that layer for these tomatoes tomato slice click on that and click on vibrance and here we need to choose something like this because these are looking too much red yeah so for this tomato 
we need to give a shadow so just select that layer select the layer below which is below that this one now create a new layer press b and make your brush something like this and just press d to default the color make sure it is black here and then just give that something like this so here we have the shadow and here we need to just write the price text yeah this much we find and as you can see this is looking awesome and something we need to do here just go to these tomatoes we need to add the yellow highlight because this is white here so this is not matching with the background so how to do that just simple just press ctrl and click on the thumbnail you will see the selection press b and press alt choose this color your brush will be normal and just now don't give too much otherwise it will look different i mean you know what i'm saying and here also press B okay and for the background if you want to change your background color so what you need to do just go to here and choose hue saturation now you can choose any background you like like this and i want to just decrease some saturation from this color so okay guys so here we have created the poster for tomato so this is how we can design poster in photoshop i hope you really like the video if you like and want to watch more so just check out my playlist there are so many tutorials just like this i have uploaded so that can be helpful and don't forget to tag me if you are going to share this design on instagram so tag me there also and that's all i will meet you in the next video thank you so much